Happy Tuesday. What's going on with you? This is Bernie. I'm on my way to work. But before I got there, I just thought I'd greet you guys. Let you know that um, coming up on today, I'm going to also share some more inexpensive eyeshadow palettes with you. And um, I believe they're all under $5. Yeah, because I picked up one from the Dollar Tree. That's the Profusion. I picked up the Max Collection from TJ Maxx. And I picked up, let's see, guys. And I think I picked up the other one, the Beauty secrets or beauty crush whatever you'll see it i picked that up from the beauty supply store so yeah they all they are all under five dollars and they're pigmented and they're pretty nice you know you get a little fallout with the cheaper palettes we all know this sometimes you get fallout with the expensive stuff too but um with a primer and or you know some kind of build up of the color you can get a nice look of the day mm -hmm, or look of the evening so stick and stay as i share that with you coming up shortly and um i just want to say good morning good day good evening all that they're all mushed together so what are your goals for today my goal starting out this morning is to be kind in traffic once I get to work I'm gonna let that kindness just go ahead and um, push me on through the day you know because honey sometimes you can meet up with people who don't work with you that have a nasty attitude you know they may have other things going on in their lives like family members may have bitten their head off this morning or somebody may have stole something from them somebody might have um, lied on them somebody 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 so you know what I'm saying you gotta just hold on keep calm and keep it moving with kindness just because somebody I guess throw a nastiness my way I can't be nasty to them you know that's a waste of my time that's like <laughs> That's totally childish on my part. I, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about me. Just because somebody step on my toe, that don't mean I have to step on theirs, you know. So, yeah, I just have to be conscious of my facial expressions when people tell me stuff. Because, you know, your facial expression says a lot. It can either say yes or no or move out the way or you know no way or whatever we we both know that right so i gotta be conscious of my facial expressions and um my body language because body language you you could be saying oh that's okay yeah you can borrow my desk or you can borrow my phone or you can borrow whatever but you're really saying uh-uh you got your own fault. What you borrowing mine for? So, yeah. Body language. Got to be careful of that. That's on the bucket list for Tuesday. Yeah. And just kindness. Sometimes it's impossible to be kind in the moment of fear, in the moment of a catastrophe, or, you know, the, the regular normal stuff that happens during the day. Because, you know, trials and tribulations are going to come. But, it's all in how we handle them. If we, talking about you and I and our family and all that good stuff, if we handle them rough and nasty and, you know, with shortcomings, you, you, you know, you're not coming up with a solution. The solution to some problems is just be quiet. Just be silent. Don't say nothing. Cause you know we get we get so antsy and I just gotta get them a piece of my mind. Yeah, you give people a piece of your mind and then they don't even hear it because they're too angry or they're too busy um, telling you a piece of their mind. So a piece of the mind is only good when somebody's listening and taking it in. 
How many times have you told somebody off and they ain't even heard nothing you said? They weren't listening. They ain't paying you no attention. How many times have you, you know, told your child or uh, your significant other, can you move this? Can you do that for me? If you say it kindly, I guarantee you they heard that and they're working on it. But if you was like, move that mess out the way or, you know, whatever words you might use, they just kind of like, mm-hmm. They walked on off. You know, avoiding you, uh, avoiding conflict. And you take it as, okay, they're avoiding me. I told them to do something. They don't want to do it. It's all, it's the tactic in which you use to deliver what you was trying to get across, you know? So, yeah, I'm just talking. I ain't no psychologist and uh, none of that stuff. No doctor here, no nurse, none of that. I'm just Bernie. Just giving you some uh, taste of Tuesday. <laughs> Just chit-chatting, talking about what my goals are for Tuesday. Yes. And you ever uh, been behind a tractor early in the morning or late in the day? One of those tractors that, you know, haul dirt around or whatever or asphalt around. 